Ravens, get on the phone right now. Get on the phone right now. Let's create a, a $1 million deal, a $1 million base salary with some nice incentives for DeAndre Hopkins to become a Baltimore Ravens. But anyway, before we get into that, team keep it clean. What's going on? Sing Raven here with another video. And in this video, <laughs> look, man, I, as a Raven fan, I, I ain't going to get my hopes up. I know it probably ain't going to happen. I know, and I know Ravens got a plethora of wide receivers. They got they got a good amount right now. But hey, it wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. It would. It it couldn't hurt. It, it could not hurt at all. And you, I mean, Lamar asked, and before you couldn't afford it. You told him you couldn't afford it, but now you can afford it. You know what's crazy? We talked about um, this off season how um, with. The whole Lamar thing and, and, and DeAndre Hopkins and Odell Beckham Jr., um, how that, that would be something if uh, both could happen. If there could be a way where they could make both of those moves happen. And before, it really just wasn't a thing. And I mean, right now, it's kind of still not necessarily a thing. But the fact that DeAndre Hopkins got released, that makes it a thing. And it really makes it a thing for all other 31 NFL teams. Um, especially beyond the Ravens. There, there's some teams that may have more money to offer DeAndre Hopkins. But DeAndre Hopkins has said himself, it came directly from him, he ain't got to be the highest paid. Money ain't everything. Um, it's funny how things have turned uh, with DeAndre Hopkins and the Cardinals because obviously leading up to the draft, there was all these rumors and all this speculation and whatnot about DeAndre Hopkins possibly being traded. Where he was going to be traded to, who knew? We didn't know. But a lot of us felt like he was going to be traded from everything that we continue to hear over and 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 over. So the draft comes and goes. And then after the draft, DeAndre Hopkins posts a video. Who, who said I was going anywhere? Who said I want to go anywhere? So it's like, oh, DeAndre Hopkins was kind of shutting everything down. So I'm like, oh, okay, DeAndre, we'll see you. All right, that's cool. But then... In the I Am Athlete interview from just a couple of days ago, and I said it when we did a recap of that interview with Brandon Marshall um, and Ashley Nicole Moss, and shout out to the both of them too. But I, I talked about how during that interview, when you listen to DeAndre Hopkins over and over and over and over and over again, he sounded so noncommittal to the Arizona Cardinals. He sounded so noncommittal to the Cardinals. He did not sound like he was part of the team. There was some time, there were a couple times where he said we, when um, I think uh, somebody talked about them having the best defense, like them having a good defense. I think he, made, he said we then, but it, most of the time, just except that one part, he just really sounded very noncommittal to the team. Sounded noncommittal to the new GM, sounded noncommittal to Kyler Murray, just sounded noncommittal to them overall. <laughs> but we see why now. Maybe that, that interview was the straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe that was it. Maybe what the, maybe, maybe the Cardinals GM saw that interview. And he said, oh, really? Oh, really? That's what you want to say about me? Okay, I got you. But some of the questions that were asked, like Brandon Marshall and them, they asked, oh, so what are you looking for in your next team? What are you looking for? And he could have been like, if he was committed to the Cardinals, he could have been like, oh, no, with, with the Cardinals, I'm, I'm just looking for more consistency. I, I'm looking for them to be more consistent as a team, as a franchise, as an organization. But no, he, he talked about things that he was looking for with his next team. Um, as far as the, uh, the franchise, like the front office and whatnot, the team themselves. But yeah, man. And even when... Even even when uh when he was asked, oh, what who are top five quarterbacks that you would like to see yourself catching passes from? Right then and there, he could have been like, oh, I got one right now already, Kyler Murray. And he could have easily slipped him in there, been like, oh, I would say Kyler Murray because he was hurt. So I didn't get to catch all my passes from him last year because he got hurt. But when he gets healthy, that's what I'm looking forward to catching my passes from the most. He could have said that, but he didn't. So again, very non-committal because the, the five quarterbacks he said, Josh Allen. Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, uh, oh, Patrick Mahomes, and Justin Herbert. And the order was Allen, Hurts, or Allen Mahomes, Allen Hurts, Mahomes, whatever. It don't even matter the order. Those were the five that he said. But um, now, this opens up an opportunity for everybody. Literally everybody. Well, except the Cardinals. And with the Texans, I will see. He talked about how he still lives in Texas. He still lives in Houston. But would he go back there? I don't think so. 
Um, I, as much as I would love, I would, y'all know I would love for my Ravens to get DeAndre Hopkins. I love DeAndre Hopkins. Um, I don't foresee it happening. I don't think it's going to happen. I would love for it to happen. And I know it would be overkill because the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr. to get Rashad Bateman back. They drafted Zay Flowers in the first round. Still got DuVernay. Signed Nelson Aguilar this offseason. But to add DeAndre Hopkins to, it would be a dream. If this was Madden, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would, I would do it in a second. Right away. Um, but, hey, we'll see. But if, if I got to go based off of my expectations, see, before, when he was going to be traded, I expected him to go to the Bills. But now that he's released, oh, this opens up everything for everybody. I still expect him to go to the Bills. But now you got to think about a team like the Chiefs. Chiefs are another team, too. Uh, Bills, Bills or Chiefs are the one, one of the two teams I think he's going to. I mean, those are the two teams I think he will go to. Bills are the Chiefs because, especially the Chiefs, because they, they got to be looking at this like, DeAndre Hawkins is available. He's on the market, and we can create our own. And this is really for any team, but we can create our own contract for DeAndre Hopkins? Oh, man, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Like, what? And think about this. Like, the Chiefs, last year, they just won a Super Bowl. With Juju Smith-Schuster, with McCole Hartman, with MVS, and it ain't no shot at those guys. Those guys are all skilled individuals. But you, you won a Super Bowl with them. Imagine what you could do with a DeAndre Hopkins. Patrick Mahomes, really Patrick Mahomes didn't even receive it, but Patrick Mahomes and DeAndre Hopkins, that would be nasty in a good way. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is something right here. Um... But yeah, Bills. Bills are certainly another team too. Now with the Bills, I'm not sure what the status with Stephon Diggs right now. No, he ain't, she didn't show up for voluntary. Remember that word, voluntary OTAs. But I know Stephon Diggs been very cryptic with the Bills over the past, well, recently. Um, this offseason, really heading into this offseason too. So I don't know. I don't know. Because I would think like Bills are a team that they, they've been a team that's similar to the Chiefs. They're willing to take that chance on anybody, and they, they love to keep adding talent. They never have enough talent. So those would be the two teams that I would watch out for the most. But the one that I would want it to happen for the most would be for Lamar. Because, again, hey, who knew something like this was going to happen? Who knew something like this was going to happen? Because, again, going back to that report, Lamar said, can, can y'all get Odell Beckham Jr. and DeAndre Hopkins? And Ray was like, oh, no, we, we, get, we get Odell. We got him, boom. There you go. DeAndre Hopkins is another story. And they were able to create their own contract for Odell Beckham Jr., even though like, <laughs> that contract they gave Odell, woo! They paid that boy a lot of money. That's like, all right, Raven, I'm with it, but you got a you gotta chance. You got a chance. Uh, I ain't got, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Mm, I, I mean, what can I say? So we'll see what happens. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins is when it comes to him being an Arizona Cardinal, I'm out. <laughs>